guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. It's Tuesday today and I'm just about to get started on the designing for the week. I did look at art yesterday so I've got an idea of what I want to design but I need to do two weekly collections and the February monthly collection. This morning I went to have my nails done so I've gone for like a Christmassy theme and I'm so excited for Christmas. I've also been so behind in my planner but I did do some on Sunday. So I used the Candy Christmas uh, mini kits and glitter add-on in my planner. This is the B6 Lights Planner Action Coil Planner and I chose the inserts. I've also got like a decluttering insert um, and a project planner insert. So the project planner one looks like this and then the decluttering one I have not used but it does look really good. It's got like sections for different rooms and then things you can consider decluttering. So you've got like loads of pages of that. So I mainly do just use the weekly because it is undated but I thought there would be good ones I could have and use sort of over the next year. Because if I don't plan in this every week it doesn't matter. So I think those would be good inserts to have like on the go, just keep them running. But I do really want to try and keep up with my planner because I really want to use all the Christmas kits. So yeah, and also I don't know where I got these from. I can probably find the shop, but look, these are like little gingerbread characters and they're so cute. Um, I got them as like a freebie. I did a sampler swap with a shop and she sent me like a pack of stickers for me, which was so cute. Um, so I'm really excited to be using the gingerbread men. I just got the most exciting happy mail. It's my planner from Tilly Journals. I'm just gonna open it now. Some stickers just fell out of the package. These are so cute. They're like washies. They're like 15 millimeter washi strips. So there's the one with the silver foil, a gold star design, some rose gold leaves. And then some polka dots and a splodgy one. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> so it came in the purple tissue paper with a little Tilly Journal sticker. I'm so excited. <gasps> Here she is. Oh my God. Look, I got the plant cover because I just love plants. Oh, it's so nice. And the coil is so nice. I, it's like, um, it kind of looks matte, like a matte silver. It's not like super shiny silver and I really like that. I ordered the weekly monthly vertical planner 7x9 standard vertical uh, notes pages one spread monthly and the cover is hello plants hopefully this is a better angle for you to see um so you've got the lovely sturdy planner cover this is really nice quality and then on the back it's like rainbows so then your first page is the page where you can like put your name and stuff and then it's got tilly's logo and the name of the planner you've got your monthly overviews well your like yearly overview actually and then room to write things on each month. This is so handy. And then we go into the months. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So you've got the tabs um, for each month. You've got your monthly spread and then I've got some notes pages. So you've got one, two. And then we go into the weekly. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's just, I'm so excited to be back in a big planner. So your weekly spread just looks like this. You've got your sidebar, your vertical columns for the days, then some place for washi. And the lines are so faint, you definitely don't need to even use white out. So that's amazing. Gonna save me so much money in Tombow. Sorry, Tombow. <laughs> um, and then that is literally, every week is like this. It's all dated. So ready to go. I'm so excited. The tabs are white with black writing on. And then at the back, I've got my notes and there's this many notes pages, I don't know if it's going to focus, but that's plenty for me, I don't really use notes pages much. And then you've got a little pocket, which you could put your stickers in for the week, or just anything really. And the back cover, which is this design on the back 
so yeah that is my Tilly journals planner and they're completely handmade by Tilly and her partner I'm just so excited I can't wait to use this in January it is Wednesday right now and I'm just working on some new kit designs but I did just receive a Christmas card from a customer I've never had a card from a customer before it's so cute and she's wrote such a lovely message so I'm just like feeling all the feels so Christina if you're watching thank you so much for the card I did just show you guys my Tilly journals planner I'm so excited to use that for next year I think I might put down a few stickers already just to like lay out my spreads ready for 2021. Today I'm working on the February monthly collection which I could put in my Tilly journals planner so definitely gonna do that. I really want to start using the monthly kits. I don't use them at the minute because I don't have like a 7x9 planner that would fit but I could put them in my Tilly journals planner so just so excited. I feel very hyperactive today. <laughs> so yeah February monthly doing a birthday like celebration kind of kit and a St. Patrick's Day collection so I'll show you those when they're printed. Thursday today and I've got a lot of cutting to do. I feel like this week I'm just running behind. I didn't really get that much done on Monday and Tuesday and yesterday I did do all my designing so that was good. I am running out of ink and mats so I had to order those but hopefully they'll come tomorrow. I'm not like in desperate need of them but if I wait until next week I would be. I've done a little bit of planning in my Tilly Journals planner and I'm really happy with it. Um, I laid down the monthly just to see like how it fit and stuff but it fits perfectly. Um, and I also planned a weekly spread. I did like the bare bones of it, but I won't show you because I did use the mystery kit. But I am going to try and film a plan with me for the first week maybe. I'm going to use a New Year's kit. Plan with these don't really do that well on my channel and I don't typically enjoy filming them. So I'm going to try and do like one in the new planner just because it's like exciting in a new planner. But I don't think I'll be doing them habitually. My silhouettes have just finished cutting so I'm going to go and carry on with that. I've done maybe like a third of my cutting today so hopefully I can get most of it done by this evening and I also need to do photos for new releases so that's the plan for today. Also this is the ornament I got for the dog because he loves peanut butter. <laughs> Hi guys, I finished my cutting and I've just taken the photos for the new releases. I need to collate some kits because sometimes I do it as I'm cutting and other times I do it afterwards and I've left it to do it afterwards today. So I'm going to go and do that so that I can count my stock and know how many to add to the listings when I do them. I'll probably do them tomorrow morning. I do need to work on getting the PR team applications up probably next week. I change the PR team every six months. Um, so I need to do applications for new members and decide what's happening with that. We won't be changing until January, but because it is Christmas, it's probably better if I can get it all sorted sooner rather than later. This is a bit of a spoiler, and if I leave this clip in, you know that I have done this work. But as of next year, Planner Face will be doing a monthly mystery kit subscription. Um, so the Cyber Monday mystery was kind of testing the waters for the monthly subscription um, but I need to do a lot of work on the website to set up the subscription billing, do like an FAQ, the listings and stuff. So that's going to take me I think a few hours so I'm going to aim to do that tomorrow and if I do get it done you'll see this clip but basically surprise that there's a monthly mystery subscription kit coming. So if you do see this clip it means I've made it all public, announced it officially so I'll put the link in the description for more information about that. I'm going to get to collating the kits now.
I also haven't shown you guys the new December freebie. This is for all orders placed during the month of December. So the theme for the freebie is kind of like New Year resolution. So the top four are finance related and then the bottom ones are health related. These will be coming to the shop as doodle sheets, but the freebie gets them first. I have just been doing my listings but I got some happy mail from Georgina the librarian so I thought I would show you what I picked up this was in the Black Friday sale oh she left me a little note oh that's so cute um she says she seems to recall that I'm asthmatic as well um and I ordered an asthma sticker so she popped in some inhaler stickers oh that's so cute okay so I'll show you what I ordered and what she gave me um and she's thanked me for ordering which was so cute I love a little handwritten note so the order came with this cute little freebie pouch you've got two sticker sheets inside and a business card so this one has some cute monochrome icons and I'm sure she hand draws these and then this one has some functional stickers and some scripts and stuff oh they're so cute I also got a business card as well I really love Georgina's scripts so I picked up the declutter and tidy up sheet the dust and clean sheet apparently I was going through like a cleaning kick when I bought these um, I got a treat yourself sheet so this is like for when I am not eating like super on plan um, I got some scripts of different rooms in the house so that I can plan when I clean specific rooms um, these were the puff in inhaler sort of asthmatic sheets I ordered so I'm going to use these when I have like a particularly bad asthma day um, I also got a laundry script sheet, so iron laundry, dry laundry, wash laundry, so oops, <laughs> so just those repeated and I don't actually iron so I'm going to use the wash and the dry and probably like gift the iron ones because I just, I don't even own an iron. <laughs> I got the room script stickers in a smaller size as well so these are the small ones and then this is the big size so you can see the difference. I ordered these really cute monochrome paw prints for when I do things with Ari and then this was the sheet that she threw in as an extra you've got the inhalers in like the hand drawn style as well and they're so cute we'll definitely use them so that was my Black Friday order from Georgina the librarian thank you so much Georgina um, I really appreciate the extra sheet and I love my order so not sticker related but it is small business related I ordered something for my dad's birthday he's not going to watch the vlog so I might as well show you um, I ordered him some fudge from a small business that I saw recommended um, on, I think it was Instagram. Um, they're called Block. I'll find the address and put it below. Whoops. But um, I'm just going to open it and have a look just to check because <laughs> I will give it to him, obviously. Um, I had to be careful when I was ordering it because um, it has like a shelf life of three weeks and his birthday is the 14th of December and I didn't want to give it to him too far in advance that it would be going off before he's even opened it but they were really helpful i messaged them and i explained like i need it for this date um and they told me when i should order it and stuff so oh we got a card they sent me a christmas card that's so cute so this one is the white chocolate and raspberry this one is cookies and cream and they do have the use by date as long as you can see this one is chocolate orange i think this one is gingerbread so they've got some Christmassy flavours as well this one is vanilla and then this one is crumble crumble and my dad does not watch Friday night dinner so he's not going to get it but I just thought it was fun so he'll get that for his birthday I picked up a few other bits as well but I tried to make him fudge this year for Father's Day it's his favourite and I completely ruined it, it was such a mess, <laughs> it just went so wrong, um, so I was going to try again, and then I was like, no, I'm way too stressed to try and do fudge around Black Friday, so, <laughs> so I've just bought him some, but I think he'll really like it, it looks really good, and I kind of wish I got some for myself. So I've just had a stressful five minutes, I went to turn my computer on, and it like, said there was an error and had to restart but then it kept doing it um so tom came and had a look and it's something about my ssd being corrupted i don't know but it wasn't even booting um and then we did it like a diagnostic repair thing and it worked 
but Tom really thought it was going to be like a case of replacing the SSD for a bit which means I would have had to like try and get all the files off it and there isn't anything on there that I don't have elsewhere but it's just not really what I wanted to do on a Friday so but it seems fine um it seems to have just like fixed itself it seems to be turning on now so I'm gonna do some cutting while I quickly can but like why cutting the premium mat to do orders I'm gonna package those now it's about oh my watch is dead it's about half four so hopefully I can get those done tonight and then probably drop those off on Monday I do just want to say a huge thank you if you watched last week's studio vlog it's done really well compared to all my other vlogs it's got to like over a thousand views in like four days which is crazy because most of my vlogs have got like half that Hi guys, I just realised I never ended the vlog yesterday, I've just gone to edit the video and I was like, oh, it doesn't end. <laughs> yesterday I just finished doing the orders and I'm not working today, so that's kind of it for this week's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed the video, I feel like it was a bit uneventful this week, but that's life. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another studio vlog. Bye!